I am making one of my favorite dishes. Ang dami nagre-request. Kaya gagawin ko na ang paella. Simpon, simpon, luto na ha This is how I do it. Ha? So, ito, as I go along with cooking, I will show you a lot of my secrets when I'm making my own paella at home. So, ito, I have my chicken and I will just season it with salt and pepper. So, I'm using chicken thigh fillets. Usually, ginagawa ko dito, yung whole chicken, finifillet ko siya. Then, after, yung ibang bones niya, ginagawa kong stock. Here is how I make my stock. Oh, di ba? If you don't have good stock, mahirap gumawa ng masarap na paella. So, eto, I'm just seasoning my... Uh, chicken and I'll just add a little bit of lemon. Parang masarap talaga yung luto natin, di ba? Pepper. So it's very important to have everything ready. And first thing that I will do is I will sear my chicken. So very important that my paellera is very hot. Olive oil. And I will sear my chicken. Here the sizzle. Very important. Don't panic. And what I usually do, di ba may taba ng chicken, I will also sear that. I will fry that to get the chicken oil kasi masarap talaga tong may chicken oil din yung ating paella. Alam mo itong nagtututong niya, yan ang nag add ng flavor. So I will now remove the chicken fat. I won't use that. We will arrange it later, di ba, para maganda yung presentation ng ating paella. And I will also saute my shrimp heads, no? To extract, mash, mash, mash Para yung flavor ng shrimp Pupunta na sa aking oil Kasi sometimes, sa gluluto tayo ng paella Hindi na kukuha yung flavor na inyong seafood no? Put that aside And I will also begin To sear my shrimp Para sigurado ako It will not be overcooked later on di ba? Kasi you cook it on top of your paella Then iwanan mo siya Sometimes, sagiging overcooked yung paella Yung uh, shrimp mo, yung seafood mo. Season with salt. We don't want it to be overcooked. Just a light sear. Kasi later it will cook. We cook both for flavor and also presentation. Kasi sometimes, we forget that the most important thing is flavor. Hindi lang yung paganda, di ba? I will just mash my shrimp heads and remove the heads. No? I've already gotten as much flavor as I can. Yan. And now, I may need a little bit more olive oil and I will begin to saute. No? Aromatic, so I have my onions, garlic. Saute. Season with salt, always season along the way. And I forgot to mention, ha, yung aking stock, aking chicken stock, walang asin yun. No salt, so that I will only adjust the seasoning when I am cooking here. Kasi pag inasinan ko na, hindi ko na makontrol yung alat niya. Pag maalat yung stock ko, maalat na yun all the way. So, I will only season when I'm cooking. But the flavor of the aromatics and the chicken are all there already. And now, it's the time to add your herbs. So, I'm just adding a little bit of dried basil. So, a little bit of thyme. And rosemary. And then, I break it down with my fingers para, alam mo, hindi ka matusok sa inyong rosemary. Yan. Sauté, sauté. This is the time to add your saffron, no? But if you don't have saffron, what I use is, just to give it a nice yellow color, I add a little bit of turmeric. Mas mura siya. It's not the same. Pero I just give it a bit of turmeric. I don't want it to taste like a curry, ha? It's very little. Pang kulay ng ng konti. Because if it's just the tomato and the rice, ang pangit ng kulay, no? Maputla siya. Yan. But this one will... Kind of replicate the original paella with the saffron. Look at that, no? naging yellowish siya. And now, I will add my tomato. And it's very important that you saute your tomato also properly. I will add a little bit of sugar. So around 1 or 2 teaspoons of sugar. The secret is in the gisa. Yan. Mm. Ang bango na, di ba? And now, it's the time we add our rice. So, eto siya, I'm using Japanese rice. You can even use our local rice, no? Um, I like to use also 
the tinawon from the mountain province. And I will add it. I will also saute the rice. We want to saute the rice so that, alam mo, it's coated in the oil and magiging a bit more buhaghag siya pag maluto. No? Want to absorb all the flavor. Hindi siya pareho ng sayo. Hindi ba nagluluto tayo ng kanin? Ito yung pagsukat natin ng kanin, di ba? But when you cook paella, the usual ratio is one cup of rice to three cups of liquid. Bakit? Because of the sauce, it's thicker. It doesn't absorb that quickly. Yan. So, saute, saute. Look at that, ha? It's dried up. Spread that out. Then, we add our stock. So, I'm adding my chicken stock. This is two cups of rice and six cups of the chicken stock. Look at this. Very thick. Oh, nag-create na siya ng film. Oh, wow. Stir natin siya. And usually, yung pelya naman, hindi mo naman siya, di ba, hinahalo-halo. It has to cook on its own. That's why, when you're cooking the pelya, dapat yung flame mo is evenly distributed around. And that, it is covered, all the parts of rice, lahat ng pieces of rice, is covered in the liquid because yung fat niya, nakikita mo, may film siya sa taas. It will parang keep the heat inside to cook. So, hindi mo siya tatakpan, but this one, the, the, the fat on top, will serve as the film. Kasi, di ba yung oil can heat up to a higher temperature compared to water. So, ito siya, it's hotter on top than it is underneath. Look at that, ha? My, my rice is cooking. And I will just taste my sabaw. Why? So that I can adjust the seasoning now. Kasi pag naluto na siya, then sobrang niyang tabang, hinalo mo siya with salt. It won't season evenly. One. And number two, magiging kalat-kalat na yung gawa mo kasi hinahabol mo yung seasoning. So, good time to taste. Mm, matabang siya. And I will just season with a little patis, no? Yeah, it brings out the seafood flavor. Yan. Yan. And of course, may allowance din tayo. Hindi natin gagawin. Sobrang maalat. Why? Because when we add the clams later on, may alat yung clams. It's going to be salty pa rin. And now is the time we add our chicken. Arrange how you want to arrange it. Yan, yan. Yan. So, the chicken will add flavor to the stock. I will now add my clams. Add my clams. And very important, ng pag nagluluto ka ng paella, dapat may tutong siya later on. No? So it's very important, hindi siya yung parang saing lang. The crust underneath called the sukarat is very important. It gives the paella that special experience. Yan. I have everything going. I'll just season with pepper. Hindi ko tinakpan ha. You notice I have not covered my paellera, it sizzle, it's boiling beautifully. My rice is halfway there. And this is the time I will arrange my bell peppers para maluto siya but not really overcooked to add even more flavor to my paella. Look at that. Okay, that's fine. Now, I'll turn it a little bit lower, the heat. I'm adding my shrimp now. So, ito, pain-in na to, ha? We're just waiting for it to absorb all the water. Sobrang festive ng ating paella. Yan. I have my squid here. Yan. I will add my squid heads now. And ako, I don't like to remove the skin because the flavor is in the skin of the squid. Yan. So, we cook it in one side. Balik ta rin lang natin. Pili ko sobrang, sobrang happy ngayon kasi ito yung ulam namin today. I will put my green peas, sweet peas. Ito. Naamoy mo na yung konting tutong sa ilalim. No? Very nice. Kaya dapat in-in na siya at this time. And my paella is done. Just turn off the heat. Sigurado na kung may tutong yan. And, of course, very important din is that you let it rest. No? So, ito, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung luto niya as it sits there. And I'll prepare my garnish. I'll just chop some fresh, fresh parsley. Yan, fresh parsley, just for freshness. May ibang secret naman ako, while waiting for our paella to cook, bumili na kayo kasi out na ang kitchen secrets ng simple. Grab your copies, learn this recipe, and a lot more recipes, and of course, all the kitchen secrets that you would want to learn from this book. And it's available na sa Lazada and Shopee. Add to cart na! 
Yan. So, ito, may lemon sa ko. Hard-boiled eggs. Yan. So, may, may nag-request eh. Hindi daw pwedeng wala. Yan. Yan. And all the lemon. And this is my version of paella. Simple! Simple!